going on YouTube? We're back. We're back with another video. Um, I ain't post because one, it been cold as ever. So yeah, we're back to the DT 400 build. Uh, um, yeah, so she just been sitting. But some stuff finally came in the mail. We got an Amazon box. This is one of the things I've been waiting for. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my, with my, um, not sure what's going on with all my exhaust. So yeah, I sanded these down a little bit, as y'all can see. I've been waiting for my exhaust, but I put, I put this um, steel well stuff on here. And it's a little kind of messy right now, but it's actually on there. Actually on there pretty good. I silt that crack. So I was thinking I might have to just use this one. I also ordered a, um, a new exhaust tip for it. So yeah, this, so today I was just gonna throw the handlebars on here. So yeah, that's what came in this box. Handlebars. So we gonna open this box. So yeah, I ordered gold handlebars. Let me get a knife. I did order some gold handlebars. I was so nervous about ordering the wrong ones, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm still waiting. I got new grips coming. I got um, new grips coming. I ordered some. Swear it said it was the right ones for my bike, but these don't go to nothing. I don't know what they go to. So yeah, these are the gold bars. We're gonna put them on there today. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the other projects that I picked up. I picked up um, two quads. I know this is an Cooster 125cc, and this is a just found what it was. It's a it's a what it said? It's an Edge. I know it's an eight. It's an Edge, ninety cc, um, four wheeler. Uh, Xavier, that's my my little mechanic. He um wired it. He like just simple wired it. But I wasn't sure. I picked both of these up for um two hundred bucks for both of them as is. But as you can see right here. He wired it, made it, cleaned it up all uh, good. And um, it still can be back wired. This seat right here is from the, uh, the DT, from the 400. So yeah, this one, this one actually runs. It still has a weird little issue going on, which I think is from the carburetor. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's open a little bit, so. It kind of, it kind of, it's, it's a high rev. It's, it's on the high end a little bit. Then this one, I'm waiting for all the parts for it too. So, 
Yeah, we, we ride this one and got it running. Got a new carburetor on there, new air filter. Still got the plastic on here, but yeah. Then I got the uh, the Husaberg, the Husaberg um, 97 Husaberg FE 400, and this is the 1978 DT 400. So uh, we got this too. We got a pocket bike that I've been work working on. It got the body kit and everything for it. I had ordered a new carburetor for it and put it on. And everything is running. And I was testing it. Of course, my heavy self, I busted the bearing. So, it's kind of loose. But, I got a new bearing for it. I just got a new bearing for it. I just got to hope that it fits. So, yeah, we're going to dive into this real quick. I'm going to just get the handlebars on. And... Yeah, this was just a video to update everybody on what's going on. Just stay tuned. Like I say, I'm fresh. I'm new to this, but I'm true to this for sure, for sure. And um, we're going we're gonna to get this going. I'm going to get the DT going. And I cleaned it up. Pretty nice. Got a lot of stuff coming soon. Got a new workbench that I gotta set up. So I don't have to have my tools and stuff like this. And tools just everywhere. So yeah, right now, about to undo these bolts. I'm gonna take all this off. And yeah, I'm getting to it. Crystal just popped up on the scene. Hey, hey, hey. So yeah, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all like this so far, um, like I say, I'm still learning how to edit, and I'm getting better at it. So this is gonna be my first edited video, for sure. So we're taking this right front brake handle off right now. Put the screws back in. So we're gonna lose them.
So I got a video coming up soon. Once I get all this together, I'm um we're going to the we're going to the mountains. We'll do some riding. Um, Phillips head, Phillips head screwdriver for for this throttle cable. Yeah, I'll get back as soon as I finish this. I got the brake, got the handles off, taking the left grip off. I did order new ones. Take these zip ties off. Another Got that off. Tried to fight me a little bit. Now, show y'all where we at. So yeah, took all that off. Now we're gonna take these off. Get the handlebars off of there. Get these new ones on there. So yeah, it's been super cold. So I lost my wrench.
13 millimeter. Now I got a lot of stuff in the garage. See, I just got this big old 82 inch TV. So I'm trying to clear out the garage, get some more workspace. I'm trying to record as much as I can. It just been a little cold. My garage gets really cold. more zip ties. So let me know, comment below on what color do y'all guys think I should Let y'all see that. Just shine that up a little bit. If I put these new bars on there. I'm gonna let that, let that dry real quick. Before I slap these bars on here. It's gonna look good. I took the speedometer off. And the rev meter, because it was all cracked up, and I'm gonna eventually order order a new one. The front light works. Um, I got all red, all red front and back rims coming. Um, again, this the clutch, this the clutch lever. It's broke. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's broke. Uh, ordered a new one. Well, ordered the wrong one. I had to reorder a new one. I was trying to trying to upload everything at once, 
But yeah, we're gonna keep on going. Now we're gonna put these nice gold bars on here. See what those look like. So now, I'm gonna show y'all the other part I just ran into. Now, these handlebars don't fit, of course. So, again, wrong handlebars. I'm like 0 for 5 right now. Um, these bars are Not gonna be able to save these either. Not gonna be able to save these bars. It's like really bent. I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh, man, that's so frustrating. Yeah, so handlebars don't fit. So we're gonna have to do some modifying, maybe. Um, thinking long term if I have to change it again. Had to cut in here some. But yeah, kind of pause on stuff again. Just some more stuff come. 
So yeah, I'm thinking if I can cut some of this off and make them fit, or I just, I just unbent these ones. These are the ones that came off of it. And I actually got them pretty straight. Uh, this left side needs to come down some more. But, yeah. So that's where we're at with the DT build. Stuck again, waiting on parts. Um, handlebars don't fit. Very, very pissed about that right now. I don't wait it two weeks for this video. So basically, yeah, it's too fat. This part doesn't fit. <sighs> but yeah, YouTube, this is where we at, man. So I'll be back soon with another video. Y'all stay tuned. I'm just still, I'm gonna put it back together once the new grips, the new grips get here Saturday. I'm gonna get back to it once the new grips get here for sure. Um, I'm gonna start working on that, get that bearing, try to get that ready before Christmas. Um, waiting on parts, waiting on the whole wiring system and the computer and all that for this one. But yeah, this one runs back. I'm gonna start this up. See if we can get a quick ride on this. Yeah, we're gonna pull this out. A uh, choke. Some more riding videos soon, man. 